Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to cut in a ceiling when painting. This will be an absolutely beginner tutorial showing you how to paint a straight line. So let's get right into the video. If you are a beginner painter, this is the video for you. I am not a professional painter, but I do paint all of the rooms in my houses over the years that I've owned, you know, two houses now. I've done all of the rooms in both houses and I've learned how to cut in a ceiling properly. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and how to paint a straight line. So essentially, I have a brush right here. Pretty much any brush will do. Um, ideally, you wanna try and get an angled brush, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Any brush will work. Um, one with a thicker amount of bristles will work a little bit better than one that's thinner uh, because you can load up a bit more paint on it. So the first thing that we're gonna do, this is a brush that is fresh out of the packaging. We're gonna get some paint on the brush. and you don't want to get too much paint in regards to uh, with regards to how far up it goes you want maybe only just a little bit I'd say maybe like an inch an inch and a half of paint on the brush so I'm gonna do that off camera I do have my paint over here to the side I'm just gonna dip the bottom end of the brush in the paint and brush it off now essentially what I've done here is I dipped the bottom end of the brush in the paint and I've just brushed off the excess. So right now, as you can see, I'm, I'm moving the brush so the paint doesn't drip around, okay? As you can see, I just have just a little bit of paint on it. And what you want to start off by doing is you want to hold the brush like this. So you can see I have four fingers like this on this side and my thumb like this, okay? And you're going to do it like this, okay, with your thumb side facing the wall. And essentially what we're going to do, and I'm going to keep moving the brush so the paint doesn't drip all around on it, because we want to do a clean job over here. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get the paint on the wall close to the ceiling but we don't want to come too close to the ceiling so I can hold the brush like I said I'm gonna load up close to the ceiling as you can see right here okay so what I'm doing right here is I'm loading up close to the ceiling now there wasn't a lot of paint on this brush because like I said it was the first time that I was dipping it in the paint so I'm gonna do that one more time but usually if you've already used the brush to paint some of the areas on the wall you can just go to the ceiling after the first time you've done this but I'm gonna do it a second time so essentially what I'm doing, as you can see right here, is I'm loading up, I'm loading up the paint on the wall close to the ceiling, but we're not that close. Now what we wanna do is we wanna start far from the ceiling and we wanna go up and we wanna touch right at the corner of the ceiling. And we're gonna do that by just letting the top few bristles brush across that corner. We're not going for the whole thing. I'm gonna demonstrate on this part of the wall right here because I'm gonna be painting the whole wall. So essentially when I press the brush up against the wall, you can see it, the, the bristles move upwards when I do this, right? And if you kind of spread it like that, look at that, you get a nice fan of those bristles, okay? So you wanna fan out those bristles and essentially I'm gonna demonstrate right here, I'm gonna just let the top couple of bristles touch that corner up there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just a little bit more paint when you're going to the corner you just want just a touch of paint on the brush not a lot we're going to start off away from the ceiling edge over there and we're going to slowly fan it out fan it out as you can see I'm fanning it out okay we're going to slowly work our way and we're going to get as close as we feel comfortable I just dripped I do apologize I'm trying to look at the uh, camera um, not focusing on the brush. Um, so essentially we want to get as close as we can to the ceiling. Now I'm just going to get rid of that excess paint right there. So as you can see right there, we did cut to the ceiling there. And essentially we're going to continue on, okay? So we're going to continue forward. So right now I probably have enough paint on the brush to continue doing this. I'm going to press down and fan it out as you can see. I'm fanning it out. And I'm just going to go and get those top couple bristles. And, and if, if you're having trouble getting the paint to make connection at the top corner where the bristles are, you can always apply pressure upwards like that a little bit. Upwards like that. Just get the top couple bristles, look at that, to hit that corner right there. And if you, if you stop feeling comfortable, you can always brush down. Now, essentially you're going to continue working your way across the wall, right? Just like that. Continue working your way across the wall till you get to the end of the wall, okay? Now, if you want to do the beginning where you started, right? I'm going to get just a little bit more paint on here, okay? If you want to do the beginning where you started, what I always like to do, and this works well for corners as well, is I like to just fan it up like that until I get just the few bristles. Sorry, I realize I'm almost not on camera over here. I just get a few of those bristles right over here to just touch the top of that corner 
Then I work my way across. Just like that. Wow, beautiful. That looks, that looks phenomenal if I do say so myself. I know I might be a little bit biased. But um, essentially, you can go and you can touch up any spots that you might have, um, you know, uh, not hit fully. Just like that. When you're done, I always like to just um, get rid of the excess paint like that. And that's how you're just going to work your way across. It's not hard. Um, it does take a bit of practice. And I will tell you, the reason why I couldn't do it when I first learned how to paint um, was because I was rushing it. You need to take your time doing this. Use the right grip. You know, your hands will get more and more comfortable painting like this. I know a lot of people paint like this. I used to do it like that too. But you'll get more and more comfortable painting like this. And this will just become your regular grip. And as you can see, with the second coat, because that's just the first coat, with the second coat, I would go and I would really get it as close as I can to the edge. Because you can see there's a little spot probably right here where it's not close to the edge right above that. Little spot right over here where it's not like 100% at the edge. But with the second coat, I would go and I would correct all that. Right, the first coat you want to get 95% of it done, and then the second coat you go for the last 5%. Okay, and that's basically it. That is essentially how to cut in a ceiling. Okay, how to paint a straight line, and it's a beginner tutorial. I'm not a professional painter. I've had two houses with many rooms that I've painted in both of the whole, those houses. Some of the rooms I've painted many times, um, you know, different different colors over the years. Um, but essentially, I've learned how to do this, and yeah, that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.